If your dog has surgery planned, you may have lots of questions. I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither here with Kyle to answer some of those questions. While each surgery may have specific protocols for preparation, risks, and options, we will cover the more general questions our clients have about surgical procedures. You know that you need to prepare your pet for surgery, and we do most of the heavy lifting there, but there are a few things that you do need to prepare for. So what can I do at home to get my dog ready for surgery? At home, you can go ahead and prepare a place for where they're going to recover. You can go ahead and get that ready. You can also uh, work on the type of food that they may need to eat after surgery if it's a special food. So you want to get all of that stuff done ahead of time so that when you bring your pet home, you're able to spend time and monitor your pet. So does my dog need to be fasted for surgery? We generally do require fasting. Usually that's after, before, I'm sorry, after midnight, we recommend that you don't feed them if they're having surgery the next morning. But water is fine. Water correct. is fine, that's okay. right. How soon can my dog come home after surgery? That would depend on the type of surgery done. Most patients here at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, we send home the same day because we are not 24 hours and we're not here overnight. So most of the time we want them going back home in the afternoon. So we'll monitor them after surgery for a few hours and then send them home later in the afternoon. What do I need to know about taking, my, taking care of my dog after surgery? A lot of times you want to know what's safe for them and what's not safe. Do they have any restrictions? If they've had a, uh, an incision or surgery, how do you pick them up if you need to? Where the safe areas are to pick them up? If they're going to need help going up and down steps? Um, and then just activity level. You want to keep them on a leash almost always and then what to feed them. What about incision care? Is there anything that they need to know for that? General incisions for most of our surgeries are going to heal on their own. We may send home anti-inflammatories to help with the swelling or possibly antibiotics depending on the type of surgery. Um, there are certain procedures that we might ask you to wrap them um, with a, um, just as a protection uh, and if so we would talk to you specifically about that. But we don't need to clean those incisions or anything like that on a regular basis? Not normally because the more you mess with them the more the pet's going to want to mess with them. Right. When can my dog return to normal feeding and activity after, activity after surgery? In general, the next day is what I recommend. We want to go light on their food the day of surgery or the evening of because sometimes the anesthesia can make them a little sensitive with their stomach. Mm -hmm. And what about activity? Again, it depends on the type of surgery done. Um, in general, we would say two weeks because that's the general healing time for most incisions. Um, and then of course, if it's anything major or an orthopedic surgery, that would be much longer. Okay, and you sent home specific instructions for mm -hmm. those um, kind of surgeries. Will my dog need post-surgical pain medication? Yes, if they have any type of surgical procedure that causes pain, we always do uh, pain medication. Sometimes that pain medication may be administered in the hospital that will last them afterward, uh, or we, we may also send home additional medication for you to continue to give. Okay. As we said earlier, all surgeries are different, and we can help guide you by answering some more general surgery questions. And this one kind of falls in that general surgery question. What can I expect from my dog's upcoming surgery? Yes. It depends on the surgery. Yeah, yes. So um, you may, you know, with, with sedation and anesthesia, sometimes they aren't themselves when they come home. Uh, one thing I like to tell my clients is that when they're vocal, that does not always mean they're in pain. Um, sometimes they are what we, the big name is dysphoric or just they're a little out of it from the, from the sedation. And so they're confused or they're vocal because of that. Um, so that's one thing I like to, to tell my clients. Okay. What questions should I ask my veterinarian about the surgery that my pet's going to have? One important question would be thinking about um, the care afterward, which we've talked a lot about. You would want to know, of course, the cost of the procedure. That's an important mm -hmm. thing for clients to know. Um, and then you, you may want to know length of procedure. Um, you know, is the pet going to need to stay in the hospital or will they come home, you know, the same day? Sure. Will my dog go under anesthesia during surgery and who will monitor them during that surgery? 
Yes, so there are different types of anesthesia, which we do have a video on that, whether it is um, IV anesthesia or general anesthesia. Um, so they will be sedated or and or anesthetized for any type of surgical procedure. And the second part of that question was who's going to be monitoring them. So the veterinarian that is doing the procedure is always monitoring our patients, but we also, in addition to that, because we are focused on the surgery a lot of times, is that we will have a trained staff member that will be in the room with your pet uh, monitoring them physically, but also they are uh, connected to monitoring equipment that measures their heart rate, their oxygen saturation, their blood pressure, um, and so, so, so there's a lot of monitoring that goes on. And the staff that monitors them, they're trained technicians, mm -hmm. uh, whether they're certified or, or registered or right. not, but they're trained. So they're watching the monitors, but they're also physically putting their hands on the pet, which is important to do both sure. of those things. Will my dog be intubated for surgery? Most of our surgeries, they will be intubated. Um, there are certain minor procedures that they may only have IV anesthesia. And how will my veterinarian communicate with me during my dog's surgery? Beforehand, we've probably communicated with you as far as the general procedure, um, what to expect, and when we are going to follow up with you to let you know how the pet's doing. Um, we offer multiple ways to communicate, whether through texting or through calling. Sometimes um, we do send pictures and, and things like that during recovery. Um, and you can always call in and check on your pet if you want to. We do have the occasional client that stays with us uh, during the procedure. You're not able to be right there with them during the surgery but you can you know stay at our clinic if you want if you didn't want to leave them but the majority of our clients we call or text and you call after the surgery mm -hmm. is over to report how they did and yes and then afterward uh, we do usually talk to you or one of the staff talks to you at pickup sure. as well will my dog be in pain during and after surgery we hope to be able to control that pain, so oftentimes these surgeries are painful procedures by definition, but we control that pain by giving them pain medication prior to surgery. We call that our pre-medication. We give them pain medication during the surgery, and then oftentimes we send home medication afterward. Uh, we also control pain through our cold laser, our K laser, uh, which is a non-medication, but it is a pain control. Sure. How effective is surgery in dogs? That's a great general question. <laughs> uh, so Very general. It depends on you know what type of surgery that is. Um, we wouldn't recommend a surgery unless we thought it was effective for whatever the problem was going to be. But of course, there's some prognoses that are better than others. Sure. Your furry family member is about to have surgery, so you'll have questions about any risks to your pet during that surgical procedure, so we'll answer those now. What are the associated risks with dog, sur dog surgery? I'm having trouble with that word. With dog surgery? Mm -hmm. So there's always risk that they are going to, uh, their blood pressure could drop, their heart rate could drop, too low. We want that to be under control during anesthesia and that's why we monitor those things. We also in most of our procedures have taken the next step in placing an IV catheter and having the pet on fluids to support them. So we try to minimize those risks with monitoring and with doing some preventative measures. Uh, we also use multimodal anesthesia. So again, I mentioned about the pre-medication. So by giving m multiple steps along the way, we can reduce the overall load of a, of a sedation that we give. Sure. Do certain dog breeds have a higher risk factor when they're in surgery? We always wear, worry. We always worry about our brachycephalic breeds, which, if you don't know that big term, is the smush face breeds. <laughs> so, the technical term. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, such as your English bulldogs, um, your Pekingese, um, things that don't breathe really well prior to surgery and anesthesia, um, and so during recovery they might may, may be a little higher risk. How can the risks of dog surgery be minimized? I think you've mentioned some of these. Mm -hmm. Prevention, we're all about prevention, so by preventing the problem initially through monitoring, through um, blood work prior to surgery, all those things we can catch problems ahead of time before they become a problem. Um, and then afterward, um, so for instance, on some of our English Bulldogs, we may leave that intubation tube in longer um, than, than some just to, just to um, help with the breathing. 
Is anesthesia always necessary for my dog to have surgery? Great question. Um, there's very few local, um, I, I guess to define the anesthesia, uh, yes, to do surgery, but then there are different types, whether it's local anesthesia or whether it's general anesthesia. So any type of surgical painful procedure, we would want to use some type of local, topical, or IV or general anesthesia to do that procedure. They'll appreciate it. Yes, and, and it's harder to do the local anesthesia mm -hmm. with a dog because they don't stay still. So right. Part they of don't anesthesia understand. benefit is to right. have them not moving. <laughs> so how will you ensure the safety of my dog during surgery? You mentioned the monitoring and mm -hmm. the doctor monitoring. Anything else? Um, our equipment? Um, Yes, yeah, so our, our monitoring equipment is much like they use in human medicine as far as what it measures. We also um, have them on a ventilator to breathe during anesthesia so we don't have to worry about them not taking breaths or not breathing well. Um, and then I think just the personal touch of having a strain strained, having a trained uh, <laughs> staff member, said those words together, uh, to monitor your pet. So not only do we um, do a full physical exam prior to, to the surgery, monitor them during, but we also have someone monitoring them during recovery as well. Sure. What are the side effects and possible complications of surgery? I think you kind of went over those two, mm -hmm. heart rate dropping and blood pressure dropping, anything else? Right, um, and sometimes, you know, if they have an underlying condition that we weren't aware of, you know, anesthesia could, could make that worse. Afterward, the side effects might be, you know, swelling, pain, um, things that we'll want to control with either laser therapy or medications. And some of the things that you do as far as the anesthesia, the anesthesia protocol can be different depending on the dog's risks. Risk. Yes, right. that's so right. Certain mm -hmm. methods you would use for a risky that's right. surgery. Okay, so your doctor is the best expert to address any concerns that you have about your pet's surgery. So please give us a call if you have any questions or any concerns so we can help ease your mind about your pet's surgical procedure. Thank, Thank you. you very much.